The Royal Bank of Scotland was founded in Edinburgh in 1727 by Royal Charter from King George I. The original investment came from leftover compensation for the Darien Scheme, an unsuccessful attempt by the Kingdom of Scotland to create a trading colony in Panama called Caledonia in the late 1690s. The 19th century saw the bank grow quickly, acquiring the collapsed Western Bank of Scotland and Dundee Banking Company, and in 1874 the bank opened its first branch in London. The 1920s and 30s saw the bank begin a period of rapid growth with the takeover of yet more banks. One of them was Child & Co, the oldest name still trading in British banking with roots dating back to the 1640s and Drummond's founded in 1712. In 1969, the bank merged with the National Commercial Bank of Scotland, effectively marking the beginning of the Royal Bank of Scotland group. In 1985, the bank made a bold move into insurance. In a partnership, it set up Direct Line, taking out the middleman, offering car and home policies direct to consumers. Three years later, RBS's international aspirations led it to taking over the 150-year-old Citizens Bank in the United States. 1998 saw the arrival of Fred Goodwin as deputy CEO. By 2000, he had masterminded a £22 billion takeover of NatWest, a bank three times its own size and the biggest banking deal in UK history to date. NatWest was one of the most familiar brands on the high street with a strong heritage itself. Parts of NatWest dated back to the 1650s and included private bank Coots established in 1692 and Lombard with origins as a railway wagon leasing company established in Rotherham in 1861. Back to the Future and Fred Goodwin became CEO in 2001 and soon began shedding 18,000 jobs. No wonder he became known as Fred the Shred. But the taste for international greatness continued, buying Ireland's first active, it also bought out the rest of Direct Line and its citizen division acquired Charter One Financial in the US Midwest. In 2005, it also built a minority stake in the Bank of China. The desire to become bigger and more profitable continued, and at the top of the bubble, RBS acquired Dutch lender ABN AMRO for £50 billion in 2007, and we already know what happened next. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.